Hi everyone, welcome back to our Abnormally Normal series here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. My name is Annie, I'm a senior animal keeper here on the Elephant Rhino team. Joining me is Kelsey, another one of our elephant team members. And this big beautiful elephant joining us today is Lucky. Uh, she's one of six African elephants that we have here. So it's definitely an abnormal time around the world, but we wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys um, how normal things are around the zoo. Our day-to-day -day is actually um, pretty much the same. We're still doing all of that same training and care and enrichment with our animals. And while we are still closed here at the zoo um, and trying to embrace this abnormally normal time, we are really missing our wonderful guests. And so we wanted to take this opportunity um, to, to do a little bit of training with Lucky and uh, Shy Mountain Zoo is gonna continue to bring you guys some of this special content on our social media. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we are gonna do some yoga with Lucky. Um, if, for those of you guys at home looking for an opportunity to do, get some exercise today, feel free to join in. Now that sound that you guys hear is actually what we call an elephant purr. We tend to associate that as kind of a happy or anticipatory sound for our elephants. They really enjoy this one-on-one -on -one training time with us. Now I know that might sound kind of silly, an elephant doing yoga, but that's actually a really important part of their daily care. Our elephant program here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo specializes in caring for older female elephants. Lucky here is 40 years old, and that is considered middle to upper age for African elephants. Our youngest elephant is Malaika, she is 34, and our oldest elephant is actually Missy. She is 51 years old this year. And so exercise is a really big part of their daily care. They have a lot of different opportunities to get exercise living here on Cheyenne Mountain. But this yoga is something that we do every single day with our girls just to keep them healthy and strong. Now you guys may not be able to hear Kelsey, but everything that Lucky is doing, Kelsey is asking her to do. Ask is definitely the key word. Uh, and training with our elephants. This is always on their terms. You guys might notice that Kelsey and I are on this side of that barrier and Lucky is on the other side. We work in what's called protected contact, so we never share the same space with our girls. Now Lucky's pausing. You guys may not be able to see it, but Kimba, her best friend, just kind of came over near her in, the, in a different yard. This little bit of elephant communicating going on right now. Kimba just letting Lucky know that she's there. Lucky acknowledging her with those big, beautiful ears. You guys may have heard another elephant vocalization that Lucky did. That was called an elephant rumble. Kimba and Lucky have been at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo since 1981. So for those of you guys who have com been coming to Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, you guys are probably pretty familiar with these girls. Now again, back to training. So this is all training that we're doing. Kelsey's asking Lucky for these behaviors and then reinforcing her every time she does that behavior and meets that criteria. So this is what we call positive reinforcement training. It's how we train all of our animals here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. It might be similar to the type of training you guys do with your own pets at home. The other tool that Kelsey is using to communicate with Lucky during this training, in addition to the food, is that target pole. It's basically a broom handle with a little bit of duct tape on the end, so definitely something you guys could make at home for yourself if you wanted to do a little bit of training with your animals. And that's just a visual reference for Lucky. We are always trying to give them all the information that they need to be successful in their training. This is a good downward elephant stretch for those of you guys who may actually be doing some yoga at home with Lucky. Really good full body stretch for Lucky. And now Kelsey is going to ask Lucky to stretch that big, beautiful trunk way up into the sky. And that's an important stretch. You guys may or may not know this, but that elephant trunk has over 100,000 muscles in it. That's about five times more muscles than we have in our entire body. You guys are going to be watching Lucky use her trunk a lot throughout this demonstration. She's using those two finger-like projections on the end to pick up that food. Now guys, what we're gonna move on to now is another husbandry routine, and by that I mean this is a, a routine that we do every single day to take care of our elephants. We are gonna check the bottom of Lucky's feet. There's that awesome purr again. Now this routine requires both Kelsey and I, so Kelsey is the trainer. She's the one asking Lucky for these behaviors. I'm gonna hose off Lucky's foot so that we can get a good look at it. Now I'm not hosing it off to clean it, I'm just hosing it off so that I can get a good look at it and point out a couple things to you guys. 
Now, if you haven't ever seen the bottom of an elephant's foot before, it's pretty cool. So this, the bottom of their foot, what I'm uh, wiping off right now, is called a pad. It's a, basically a great big callus. And so there's no blood or nerve supply in this portion of Lucky's foot. You guys may be able to see there's a lot of cracks and crevices in here. That's a really good thing. We're not looking for a smooth foot. Uh, those cracks and crevices serve the same purpose as the traction on the bottom of our shoes or on your tires. It keeps Lucky from slipping. So I'm just making sure that none of these cracks are overgrown, making sure that her toenails, you guys can see Lucky's toenails right here, are nice and beveled, kind of like a rocking chair. Clear. Lucky's feet look really good. And one thing I want to point out is even though we check their feet every single day, our foot care program is actually pretty conservative. Less is more. These girls do a really excellent job of taking care of their feet all on their own. But we want to get a look at them every single day. As you guys can imagine, Lucky's about 7,500 pounds. As you can imagine, something really minor um, in their foot could turn into something pre pretty serious pretty quickly. So we check their feet every day. This is a great example of it being on Lucky's terms. Kelsey um, did not ask her to put her foot down. Um, Lucky decided to put her foot down. So Kelsey is going to just reposition her and see if she wants to continue participating. Not the end of the world if we don't get a look at Lucky's foot today. Again, we do this every single day. But elephants are built to walk. They are on their feet a good chunk of the day. And so we want to make sure their feet stay nice and healthy. And again, that's the whole point of this foot check. It has nothing to do with making their feet look pretty. All of their feet look really different. Um, it just is about keeping them nice and healthy and functional. So Kelsey did a really excellent job um, repositioning Lucky. She and Lucky have an excellent relationship. Now, one thing you guys will notice, I had mentioned on that other foot, we want to make sure their toenails are nice and rounded. You don't want elephants bearing all of their weight on their toenails, and that's because I think this is a super cool um, fact, but elephants are like the world's largest ballerina. They actually walk on their tiptoes, so the way their bones are structured, they point down like this. And so they need a, a big pad here, and there's actually a cushion, what's called a digital cushion, right above this pad inside Lucky's foot to support all of that weight. That's hard to compete with clear. Now uh, Kelsey is going to reposition Lucky. We're going to ask her to put up her back feet so you guys can get a good look at her feet. Now if I do need to do any work, I'm going to show you guys, we actually have some tools. So this is um, a wood carving blade. Um, we can actually use this to open up some of those cracks and crevices if we're concerned about them being too deep that they could collect debris that Lucky can't get out all on her own. And if we do need to file Lucky's nails, this is Lucky's nail file. Um, hopefully yours at home isn't this big, um, but everything with elephants is big. So there's a uh, Lucky's back foot. Gonna hose it off. All right, so something I want to point out to you guys, you may have noticed that Lucky's front feet, we work on elephant time, you guys. Bear with us. Kelsey's going to see if she can reposition Lucky. I think a lot of this distraction has to do with the fact that Kimba's over there. A lot of the communication between elephants is infrasound, so sound's actually too low for us to hear. So she and Kimba may be doing some communicating all on their own uh, that we know nothing about. But Kelsey's going to keep her engaged, reposition her, and we'll see if we can't get that back foot up again. Now, you guys may have noticed with Lucky's front feet, they're very round, um, very circular. Her back feet look a little bit different. They're more of an elongated, oval-shaped foot, and there is a reason for that. I'm going to go ahead and hose this off one more time. I'll explain that reason to you guys in just a second. I'm just checking Lucky's back feet for all of those same things. Her feet look really good. Now, if you guys look at Lucky's head, there's a lot of weight on the front half of their body. Lucky's tongue, an elephant tongue, can weigh about 26 pounds, you guys. Each tooth, they've got four giant teeth in their mouth, can weigh about six pounds. There's close to, a, well, 
about as much as a silverback gorilla weighs. That's how much weight um, is resting on those two front feet. So elephants need bigger, more rounded feet to support all that weight on the front half of their body. So while they do have five digits on all four of their feet, because of that shape difference, the number of toenails can vary. So Lucky has five toenails on her front feet and actually only four on the back. Clear. So Lucky's feet look really good, no work necessary. Now while we're doing this foot check, we're also doing what we call a visual inspection. So we're just getting a good look at Lucky, how she moves, looking at all of her different body parts. We're gonna get a good look inside that great big mouth right now. So you guys can see that great big, big pink tongue. That's uh, about, like I said, about 26 pounds. Lucky's got four giant teeth in her mouth. Each tooth is about the size of a red brick. And just to point out kind of what you guys are looking for, we think that elephant teeth look like a row of Fig Newton cookies. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, that is one giant tooth over there, two on top, two on bottom. Good shot, Kelsey, you guys. That is a harder shot than you think. Two out of three. Now the last thing Kelsey's gonna do is um, ask Lucky to present her trunk. This is the only time of the day that we will actually touch their trunks. Um, they're very protective of it. Uh, they can't survive without it. It is their lifeline. Now, another really cool thing that Lucky can do with her trunk, they use their trunk to drink. So we've got five gallons of electrolyte water. For those of you guys who like Gatorade, that's basically what this is. And Lucky's gonna demonstrate how she uses that trunk to drink. I don't know if you drink your Gatorade that fast, but that was about two gallons all in one trunk full. Lucky is definitely enjoying her water today. Sometimes Lucky decides she wants to keep the, keep the bucket. And our motto as keepers is let it go. You're not gonna win that one. Thankfully, Lucky is a super smart animal and she knows how to trade. So we'll see if she wants to trade this bucket with, Luck, or with Kelsey. Nicely done. She said, I'll give you that bucket for a little bit of produce. Super smart. So you guys, we um, are actually done with some of our training, but we've got um, a pretty tasty treat for Lucky. Uh, Lucky loves cantaloupe. So we're gonna give her this big cantaloupe. That might seem like one giant bite, but elephants can actually, they could have a whole watermelon or a whole pumpkin. Gone, just like that. Now Lucky, you can see her eyes closing. She is gonna savor that cantaloupe. But uh, Kelsey and I just wanna thank you guys on behalf of our Elephant Rhino team um, for your continued support. We really, really miss you. Um, and we hope to see you guys again very soon. Take care.